Hey guys, welcome to A Closer Look. I'm Wes, and today we're going to be looking at the new DLC for Halo Reach. Uh, it's the Noble Map Pack. Alright, this is really exciting. There's three new maps, uh, all of them great. Uh, we're going to do a couple walkthroughs for you guys. Uh, so yeah, take a look. The first map on the list is Anchor 9. The smallest of the three maps, Anchor 9 provides close to medium range combat with plenty of ways to sneak behind and flank your opponents. The two center weapons you should worry about are the shotgun and the rocket launcher. This map also features two machine gun turrets which stand facing each other near both of the spawns. The shotgun is located on the bottom level in the middle between the two spawns. And the rocket launcher is located in deep space outside of the station on the top level. You have to be careful going for the rockets though, because one well placed grenade by the enemy and you'll be sent flying to your death. You have to be careful in the space area, however. One wrong jump and you'll leave yourself stranded in midair. All in all, I like this map. It's going to be great for everyone who loves close quarters combat. And I can definitely see this map being used in a lot of free-for-all matches. The next map we have on the list is Tempest. A medium to long range map, Tempest features two bases opposite each other, as well as four man cannons to send you around the arena. The two man cannons in front of the bases will send you out to two turrets standing facing each other. You gotta be careful when using these though as you're very exposed. The two man cannons on the side of the bases will give you a quick start to get up close to the enemy. This map also features two warthogs, two rocket launchers and a sniper rifle. The warthogs are located on the left side of both of the bases. And the rocket launchers are located on the man cannon platforms. The sniper rifle is located down the slope at the center of the map. I think this is going to be a great map for any team based or objective based game types like capture the flag or assault. And last but not least we have breakpoint. The largest of the three maps, breakpoint features a variety of vehicles and weapons at your disposal. There are two banshees, each of which is located at one of the bases. One of which is on top of the hill, the other in the hangar. There are also two warthogs. The first spawns on the hillside, the other right outside the hangar. There are also two ghosts, one of which spawns on the hillside, and the other spawns on the opposite side of the red base. Spawned at the middle of the map, in between the two bases on the bottom level, is the Wraith and the Mongoose. And now for the weapons. There are two rocket launchers, two sniper rifles, two plasma launchers, a focus rifle, a gravity hammer, and a shotgun. The two sniper rifles are located in the tunnel at the top center of the map and at the bottom center of the map underneath the bridge. The focus rifle is located on the hillside just above the wraith. The grenade launcher is located in the cavern in between the two bases. The Spartan laser is located on the yellow base platform next to the rocket launcher. And now for the plasma launchers and the rocket launchers. On the blue side, the rocket launcher is located on the lower level near the yellow base and the plasma launcher is located on the left side in an alcove on the side of the hill. On the red side, the rocket launcher is located underneath the center platform. And the plasma launcher is located on the walkway right above red spawn. The shotgun is located on the blue side in front of the spawn propped up against a rock. And finally, the gravity hammer is located underneath the red base. Overall, I can tell that this is gonna be a great map for big team battles and big team objective games. And it's also going to be a great map for Forge. Alright guys, well I guess that about wraps it up for a closer look. I'm Wes, and make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Cheers.